Trade agreements have such detailed, sneaky, non-trade provisions that there's a possibility to refight all sorts of fights where the consumers, the environmentalists, the labor unions won, and the corporations are looking for a second bite at the apple. And so one of those is the Dubai Ports World issue. Now, from our perspective, the issue wasn't whether or not the country, the company involved came from a country from the Middle East. The issue was, should our ports be private? And if your port is private and it's for profit, how do you make national security the top priority? So, of course, President Bush wants to privatize everything, and he doesn't care who owns anything, and he talks national security, but his policies basically put corporate concentration on top. So he sticks into the recent trade agreements a provision that guarantees a foreign port operating company the right to operate U.S. landside activities in U.S. ports. The twist here is basically Congress, including the Republicans, said to him, no, we're not having our ports taken over by Dubai Ports World. And Bush said, I'm a sore loser. Let's put it in the trade agreements and sneak it through the back door. Now, obviously, he didn't say that, but that's the effect. And so if these trade agreements aren't renegotiated to take out that new right, then any time we were to try and keep out a foreign company from running our domestic ports, we'd be subject to sanctions in a foreign tribunal and have to pay millions in our taxpayer dollars because we denied them their trade agreement right to run our ports.